Hello, what's up? Welcome to another makeup video. So I like to do makeup videos randomly, just whenever I kind of have inspiration. And usually they're also pretty simple, usually. And one makeup look that I saw that was very pretty, but also looked very easy, was Taylor Swift on the cover of Entertainment Weekly. It looks pretty easy, it looks doable, at least for me, because, you know, I'm not really like, this big makeup person and I've only done a couple of videos on my channel. I have this NYX palette. This is actually the only thing I'm going to be using is this NYX palette. This palette is Electric Pastels palette because I have two of them. I'm not sure what the other one is called but this one is called Electric Pastels and I just thought it was perfect for this look. I mean look at these colors. How gorgeous are they? For the makeup look she has um, a little bit of pink like here near the waterline. So pink. Check. The sides of the, like the corner of the eyes are kind of like a blue and I was thinking this one, it's like kind of like more like a bluish green but I think that works. On her lid, you can't really tell in the cover but there's like a video of her where she talks about all the easter eggs that she does. It's actually a pretty interesting video, you should watch it, it's on the website. It looks kind of like she has a champagne -y kind of color, kind of like a goldish silver shimmer in the lid. I was thinking if maybe if I could mix two colors, maybe this one and this one, that way it gives me kind of like an in-between of gold and silver. And I got this at Ulta, I think for about 20 bucks, so not bad, not bad. So anyways, let me stop talking and let me just start the look. Also, if I'm looking here, it's because I have a mirror. I don't know how to start actually, should I do the lid first? Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna do the lid. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually wet my brush. I'm gonna use MAC Fix Plus to wet it because if you wet it, it gets really pigmented and I guess like a little more shimmery. Oh my gosh, I think I actually wet it too much. Did I? Oh, actually that looks kind of pretty. But I think I did wet it a little too much. I'm going in with the gold, or like the yellow I guess, and the... I guess this is kind of like a... I mean I guess it's silver, but... Actually no, that's not silver. This is silver. <laughs> Well, I went in with that one, but maybe I'll go in with this one too. This one, they don't have names by the way, but I'm using this one, the yellow one, and the silver one. Okay, that looks actually really good. I'm actually kind of surprised. She also has it a little bit on the inner corner, so I mean, I don't know, should I do it now? That's the only thing I feel like I don't know when it comes to makeup and like what to do first. I'm just gonna do the inner I'm gonna do the inner corner right now. So that is the lid part done. Next, I think I'm gonna do the water line, the pink water line, which is I'm really excited for this. I've been wanting to film this video for like two weeks, but my skin has not been the best. My skin usually is pretty clear most of the time. I don't really have problematic skin, but I've been breaking out a lot like on my forehead and stuff and even like on my cheeks. You can see a little bit of a scar there. I just pointed it out. I don't know if it was obvious in the camera, but yeah, I've been kind of putting it off and then like I kept saying excuses like my hair and all this stuff. Like, I don't know. I just kept saying things like to not film and now it's just like just make the video. You want to make the video, just make it. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, last but not least, there is a little bit of blue. To be honest, I can't tell exactly like where the blue starts. I know it, like, it kind of flares out a little bit here, but I don't know if she has it also uh, around the lid. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. I think I'm just gonna like blend it a little bit here like near the brow bone and then just like flare it out there hopefully this terminology is okay cuz I'm not too sure no oh, it's not coming up should I use spray for this I feel like I should well you can see it a little bit I might have to use a little bit of it. 
You know what? I think I'm not using a the brush. I think I should use this one, which I use for the pink, but I should probably kind of clean it a little bit. Oh. There you go. That's a little better. I think that's pretty much how it looks. It looks a little bit different on me because my eyelids are very big. I have big eyes and like my eyelids you can see a lot. Let me put on some mascara. So this is it. I I like it but you know what? I think every time I look at someone I'm like oh my god they look good with this, they look good with this and then I put it on myself and I'm like mmm maybe it doesn't look that great on me. But this was fun and I mean I think it's like a fun look. What do you think? I've been like filming my outro for so long. I don't know how to end it other than thank you for watching. Hopeful, I hope you should try this. It's very easy. You should get this palette. It's awesome. I love it so much. Like I said, it was pretty inexpensive. Ulta was like 20 bucks. I think it's 20 bucks on the NYX website as well. You can order it there if you want, but the colors are so beautiful. And I really want to use this peach one. I don't know when or how, but I'm going to use it. Oh, this one is pretty too. It's like a very pale pink. Oh, it's so pretty. Do you see that? Let me see. All right. I don't know why I'm rambling about this. This isn't like a palette review. Although I will say this is very nice. The colors, the shadows go on very smoothly and they're pretty pigmented. Especially if you use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus or any sort of setting spray. Or I think maybe even water. Probably water. But anyways, let me stop rambling. Um, I just don't know how to end this. But yeah, thanks for watching and bye!